Hey everyone, uh, thank you for checking me out. This is CC's Political Corner. This is Kathy Reed and Christian. Uh, we're going to talk about a few things real quick that happened this morning. Uh, first off, um, of course, as always, make sure you register to vote. I want to put that out there. But today, um, <clears throat> the Supreme Court heard oral arguments from Byron Allen in his racial discrimination case against Comcast. This uh, case actually stems from a 2015 racial discrimination lawsuit, which Allen and his company Entertainment Studios Network accused Comcast and other telecoms for refusing to carry uh, his cable channels, such as ESN uh, cable channels, which include uh, Car TV and Pet TV, uh, because of Allen's race. He is an African American man. Those of you who may remember, he used to do a talk show uh, late at night, like on a Saturday, where he talked to actors of um, upcoming shows. Usually, they were actors of color. Sometimes they, you know, they weren't. But uh, other than that, Allen's uh, twenty billion dollar lawsuit was dismissed three times from the district level. However, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals uh, reversed the decision early this year. And that's why it's been brought before the Supreme Court. <clears throat> um, actually, Comcast has been secretly um, giving money to the uh, NAACP the whole time and then trying to undermine a Civil Rights Act of 1866, which is section, section excuse me, uh, 1980. Uh, this grants uh, non-white citizens the same abilities to make and enforce contracts. Um, previously, federal courts uh, varied in how they would uh, interpret the terms of this legal standard um, in the discrimination cases overall. So uh, with the Supreme Court ruling on this, basically, it could start to chip away at um, everything from affirmative action to separate but equal to even Brown versus the Board of Education. Um, so yeah, this has bigger implications than just him being able to put his networks on uh, on the cable, on Comcast. Um, this could start to chip away at everything. And being that majority of the court now is, Republic, is a Republican, um, this could be big. This could be the start of something really big to snowball where a lot of our civil rights might start being chipped away. All right, and that's that. Next, um, what I'm going to do is.